Hello and welcome to Glorious Munchers. My name's Jolian, and today, it's the 26th of May 2024, we have another Sunday preview for you. Ill Team Termination and Lilith Esperax. There are just two products coming to pre-orders next Saturday, but they're both huge deals. We begin with Kill Team, which gets its latest big box expansion. This is Kill Team Termination, as you can see right here. A little view of the contents right here. A couple of bits of scenery as usual. A lot less scenery than the, the old big boxes, unfortunately. And a couple of Kill Teams with cards and looks like transfers back there and a little bit of rules and stuff. But we can have a proper read right here. We've been vacationing on a Beta Decima for a while now. And despite the attractive beachfront atmosphere, the other holidaymakers have all been a touch belligerent. Two more groups have arrived to soak up the atmosphere, and they're already at each other's throats. Let's scroll and have a look. This box contains two full kill teams, the Hankin Jaegers, Hardy Scouts from the Leagues of Votan, and Gene Stealer Cult's Brood Brothers. The first of these is an all-new unit using new sprues, while the second force is made of the existing Cadian infantry frames with new Brood Brother upgrade parts, plus some other existing miniatures from the Gene Stealer Cult's range. This is the um, Cadian one they're talking about with the upgrades. So we do get, um, obviously, the return of a couple of things in the Patriarch, I believe that thing, and the Magus here. A couple of. Uh, um, so nothing particularly new in this one. However, if, uh, you know, the Gene Stealer cult's always recruiting. They always want more people. So, you know, never a bad thing if you have a Gene Stealer cult army. And this is the brand new stuff for the, uh, the Jaeger, as they call themselves. Um, okay, I, sh I kind of, uh, I would probably get this. I'm still waiting on the... I'm still waiting on the Night Lords one, so uh, I can wait a little bit longer, I think. Um, I say that. I mean, yeah, I'm still waiting on the Night Lords box set to come out separately. Um, and I can probably wait a little bit longer to wait to get these particular ones, but let's get back to them. Um, so you also get an 88-page rulebook containing law and rules for both teams, plus new missions and other additional rules, as well as two complete token sheets of both factions, two sets of data cards for the individual operatives, two decks of assets, tactical ploys and strategic ploys, and two transfer sheets containing hundreds of decals for each faction. There are also some new terrain pieces, two termination plasma genitoriums, which are those things right there. I assume those are glowy, glowy things right there. That one's evidently turned off. Okay, I wonder how much the price is. Bearing in mind, prices are going up on the 10th of June, I believe, uh, for a good chunk of things. So do bear that in mind, folks. If you are buying something up, it's probably, you know, now is the time to get it rather than after the 10th of June. Just uh, if you, uh, you know, just if you'd forgotten that. Bear that in mind. And uh, then we can scroll down to the Black Library thing, which is this Lilith Hesperax, Queen of Knives, limited edition. The greatest gladiator in the dark city of Comora has had enough. Lilith Hesperax, one of the finest duelists in the galaxy and a deadly assassin beyond compare, sets out from her benighted home alongside a coterie of mysterious Yunari death cultists in Mike Brook's new novel, Lilith Hesperax, Queen of Knives. That is the artwork on the front of it. We can scroll down a little bit more. So it's got uh, red sided pages or red edged pages. Got some glitter. Glitter? <laughs> it's not glitter. Whatever it is, is foil, I think it's called. Uh, writing, which is all very nice. And it's signed as well. 2,000 copies. But the novel is available first in a lavish limited edition release this Saturday with an especially dark and dramatic cover embossed with red foil lettering, I was right, on the spine and rear. Each copy is signed by the author and appended with an afterword 
and includes a full color illustration of Lilith on inside the cover. Battle Report celebrates the release of the momentous 500th issue of White Dwarf with a classic Dwarden vs. Orc Auric showdown with a twist. Gombrinol himself is on the field to knock some green heads in, and Cruel Boy Commander Nick will have his work cut out for him as his opponent. Warhammer Studio designer John wrote the custom scenario they'll be playing. I do actually have White Dwarf Magazine 500. I've yet to actually uh, open it up because I had a bit of an accident over the weekend, so... I need to remedy that situation. Here at the Warhammer community, we're continuing on our safari through the factions of Warhammer Age of Sigma, uh, with a new faction focus each weekday, starting with the Cities of Sigma. There's also more to see from Kill Team Termination, including some juicy Warhammer 40,000 rules for the leagues of Votan. But make sure you don't miss a single day of reveals. Okay, so that's all coming up. Just a couple of things this week coming up then for pre-order. Um, I don't think I'll personally be getting in on this action, but I know a lot of people might be. Um, don't forget, you could potentially use my Element Games affiliate link. It is an affiliate link, as I said. So I do get a tiny bit of kickback. If you choose to use that link, it doesn't increase the cost of the uh, product for you from Element Games, but it does give me a tiny little bit of money to help support the channel. So this we are we are swiftly moving into June as well. My studio is kind of verging on being done. We still need to get the electricians to come in to do a second fix. And uh, the builders just need to do finish a few more things off. And then I need to sort of basically spend all of June, as far as I know, just unpacking and getting stuff ready for getting back to making videos, getting back to painting and getting back to streaming miniature painting, both uh, here on YouTube and also doing some streaming over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash glorious badger. So do make sure you followed me there. And uh, yeah, so I, I do, I am thinking that the beginning of July, July the 1st ish, is going to be back to painting and streaming full time, barring any disasters, obviously. But I will put that into the community tab um, if a disaster comes along to change that sort of date. But I think it's, I think things are looking okay. So, do make sure to like, subscribe, and indeed hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss those future videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, and goodbye.